Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to find out how you can quadruple your value in the eyes of worthy and amazing men, stick around because I'll be sharing with you how to do just that on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm super excited to be sharing with you how to literally quadruple the value that you have in the eyes of worthy, amazing, passionate guys. And uh, a lot of women ask me, how can I become a high value woman? So the steps that I'll be sharing with you right now will help you accomplish that beyond that, beyond you being more valuable in the eyes of men. You will create a life at the same time, in parallel, that's more exciting to you, that's more fulfilling to you, that helps you to create a stronger legacy, which is what life's all about. The first step is pretty simple, and it's what I call kill the vanilla. Kill the vanilla means that there's a lot of women out there who have disconnected out of politically correctedness, political correctedness, <laughs> from their true passions and from their true thoughts and from their true beliefs and convictions about things in life. So when you disconnect from the things you love and also from the things you hate, you become pretty plain and boring. So if a guy asks you, what is your favorite type of food? And you say, well, everything. And what's your favorite music? And you say, well, like, like all kinds of music. And not because that's the truth inside of you, but because you're so disconnected from what you want that you really, everything seems the same to you. That's not something that allows you to raise your value. So if you connect to the things that you are excited about and you define them for yourself, and then more importantly, you're willing to express them to the world and specifically to men, that will define you as someone who's clear about what you want and somebody who knows herself and that raises your value instantly. Now, it's very important that you understand that there's going to be guys who will absolutely hate what you say, but I'd rather you have that kind of personality that a guy says, I love her or I hate her, than she's nice, she's okay, right? So you're not doing things just to be showy or to be bold, but you're doing them because your heart has fire and is not willing to let that fire die down and it just needs to express it. Number two is to create and build that passionate life today, right now. Here's what I mean. <laughs> a lot of women have this illusion that their life is flatlining, but when they connect to this guy, it's going to become incredibly intense and passionate. And here's the thing, at the beginning of the relationship, even if your life is boring, it's going to become exciting. But guess what happens? If you have not built the skills to create a passionate life and you're not living that kind of life, that amazingness is going to flatline just as well when you connect to the guy and then it's going to be boring for both of you. So if you create the kind of life that you want today, connecting to your passions, connecting to things you love, doing things that are scary but good for your growth, right? And you're continuously feeling that intensity in your life today. If you can create that right now, then guys will feel, oh my God, I want to be part of that. Your friends will feel the same way, okay? So it's not about you doing something to impress anyone. It's for you to do things that right now will make you feel more intensity in your life. Number three is up your standards for everything, but specifically for dating. Why? Because the moment you, you raise your standards for dating, guys know that they have to be more, do more, create something more special to be with you. And that raises their value as well. So standard for dating means what does it take for a guy to take you out? A guy who messages you without interest, without being specific with you, if that's enough to take you out, then you have a low standard. So create a high standard. It's not, imp not an impossible standard, but a high standard so that the guy who goes out with you know that he has to go through certain hoops to get to know you, to get to be interesting, to go out with you. What are your standards for physical contact? What are your standards for sexual contact? So when you have high standards for physical contact and sexual contact, that means that the guy is going to understand that as much as he's testing and pushing boundaries, he will know that you are somebody who cares about yourself, who values yourself, and therefore somebody who's valuable for him as well because that makes him more unique. That means that not any clown can get you. If he's more unique, then he feels more value towards you and towards himself. The last one is create that intensity in the heart that is called craving for love without an attachment to any specific guys. Here's what happens. A lot of women who want to create love but have been hurt in the past and don't want to appear and feel and be needy, which is something no guy wants, disconnect so much from their craving that they appear to be very independently disconnected from emotions. They appear to never need a guy 
and a guy wants to feel needed in a healthy way, so not in a needy way, right? So the way to do this is to connect to the craving that you have in your heart so you know that you want love, you know that it's exciting, you know that it's going to raise the quality of your life, but you don't attach it to any specific guy. That's how you can get away with still feeling it and not be needy because you know that if the guy doesn't show up the right way, if he doesn't give you what you need to open your heart to him, then you don't have to fear not getting it in your life. You're still going to get it. Okay, so craving without attachment to a specific guy creates a high element of worth. That's the feeling that a guy knows when he connects with you. She can walk away if, if I'm just being lazy. She can walk away if I'm just saying things without taking action. And again, that forces guys who have it inside of them to be more, do more, value more, and create the kind of relationship that you want. So there you have it. If you find this is helpful, insightful, and useful, I'm going to invite you to do three things. Number one, clear. Like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, on the description of this video or on the link right here on your screen, you'll see a way for you to sign up to a free webinar that will share with you a three-step blueprint to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. If you have any questions for me, leave me a comment on this video and I will either reply to you personally or create a video just for you.